Hello reception girls and boys, it's phonics time again and we're going to learn another new sound today. But let's start off with our alphabet song, so don't forget to join in and if you want to have a go at doing the signs for the different letters along with me, you can. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Brilliant. Let's have a look at our flashcards first of all. Play the sounds with me and don't forget to do the jolly phonics actions. Ah, 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 ah. one that we learned last week. Oh, and one. E, 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 and that's it. Now let's have a look at our tricky words. See if you can point to the words when I say them. Can you point to no? What does no start with? Can you see it? There it is. No. Can you point to I? There it is. Very useful for our writing, I. Can you find the? Tricky word, the, there it is. Can you find go? What does go start with? Go, 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 go. There it is. Can you find two? Got. And can you find went? What, what? And there it is. Let's have a look at these tricky words. Can you find she with our new sound? Shh. Can you see it? There it is. Can you see B? B, 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 B. Can you see he? There <laughs> we go. And we. Wah, wah, wah. And can you find me? Mm, me. And all of these tricky words all have got the last letter at the end of the word, haven't they? What letter is it? Can you see what letter they all finish with? They all end with an a, a, a. But in these words, they all make an E sound, like the name of the letter. So it's a, E, sh, E, w, E, M, E, F, E. All make an E sound. Now, today we're going to learn a new sound. Now, I wonder if you remember last time we had a look at this picture, didn't we? And we learned what a new sound this sound was. Can you remember? It was E, wasn't it? And I said, there's another sound that goes with this action, and it's hiding underneath my piece of paper. Well, we can take that off now and see what the other sound is. The other sound is just here underneath. Can you see? And what letters are in this sound? There's an R and a R. And those sounds together, when they're together, they make an O sound. Can you say that with me? O, O. And we 
we'll put them together in the Jolly Phonics story because when we put an E and an O sound together, it sounds like a donkey, doesn't it? And we looked at the picture last time, we saw that the donkey was very excited about having his carrot. So when we do our action for the O sound, it goes with the E sound and we can make our donkey ears and we go E, O, E, O. And that's those two sounds there. E, O, E, O, E, O. So let's have a look at a few things as we've got the O sound in. I wonder if you can see what I've got here. I've got a fork. Can you hear the O sound? The fork. And I've also got a picture of my baby who is now a very big grown up girl when she was born. She was a tiny baby, but that's the first day she was born. But the word born has got an O sound. You can hear it. The born, born. And I've got a bit of scrap paper here. Watch what I'm going to do. I've torn it. Torn and torn is another word that's got the O sound in it. Can you hear it? T -o -n, torn. So let's see if we can make those words with the magnets. So let's start off with the fork. Can we make a fork? Now what does fork start with? Can you hear? Fork. It's a, isn't it? Now over here in this corner I've got my or sound ready. Can you remember what sounds were in the or sound? The what letters there were? There was an R and an O. So for fork we've got and what's the last sound in fork? The fork. And so it's a kicking cup in this word. Fork. Let's read that word together. Come that off the right way around. Fork. Fork. Brilliant. Let's see if we can make another word with the or sound in. Can you remember what the word was that went with my baby picture? It was born, born. So what does born start with? B, 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 b. B, b, first of all, and what comes next? B, or, 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 or sound. And what's the last sound that we can hear in born? B, born. That's right. It's the mm. Let's read that word together. B O N born. And last of all, we'll do our last word that we have. Can you remember what time to the piece of paper? I made a tear, so it was torn. Torn. Let's see if we can write torn. Torn T. O N. Born, torn. Brilliant. Now I'm going to have a go at writing a sentence with one of my four words in. So I'm going to write this sentence. I'm going to count the words on my fingers first to see how many words I need. I'm going to write, I put the fork in the box. That's quite a long sentence. Let's see how many words there are. I put the fork in the box. That's a lot of words, isn't it? Let's count how many words that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. And in between each word in a sentence, we need to leave a finger space. That's right. So what was the sentence again? I put the fork in the box. So I've got my whiteboard and my whiteboard pen. If you want, you could have a go at writing the sentence with me. So, I, first of all, how do we write I? It's one of our tricky words, isn't it? One of our tricky words. There it is. Can you see I? So it goes straight down with a hat on the bottom. I. Then I need to leave a finger space. Put. What does put start with? That's right. It's put. You see, I've leave my space there. Put, what comes next in put? P. Or, 
four, foot, foot. That sound is two. I put, and I'm going to leave another, that's right, finger space. I put the, now the is a tricky word, isn't it? It's difficult to sound out. So we can have a look at our tricky words to find the. Leave my finger space, so it's the, the, the. Let's read to see where we're up to so far. I put the, now I've done another word, so I need to leave another finger space. I've run out of room, so I'm going to go underneath. I put the fork, what does fork sound like? Can you remember from when we did it in the magnets? What's the next sound? Or our new sound, our new sound. Or, that's it. Or, or, can you remember what kind of coat it was? That's right, it's a sticky coat. I put the fork, to leave the finger space, in, what does in start with? It, 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 it. In, in, can you hear that in sound? In, finger space. The, we've got another the, our tricky word the. Where am I up to? I think I better read through to make sure I know where I'm up to now. I put the fork in the box. I'm going to leave the finger space. I have to go underneath again. I've run out of room. What does box start with? The, 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 the. What comes next? The, uh, 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 the box. Box. Six. And can you remember what comes at the end of our sentence when we finish the sentence? It's a full stop, a little dot, to tell us that we've finished that sentence. Let's read the sentence together. I put the fork in the box. So girls and boys, now it's time for you to have a go at writing and reading some words with the new sound or in. And have a go at writing a sentence too if you can. And make sure you take a picture and send it to your class teacher. See you next time. Bye-bye.